money for nothing, broke city first in U.S. to pay all residents monthly, why that makes it worse. This never, ever works, but the left just keeps on trying to implement it, bless their little socialist hearts. Stockton, California is the latest leftist refuge to try instituting a universal basic income, paying 100 residents $500 a month without any conditions. It's definitely money for nothing, chicks for free and that liberal stronghold. The only problem is this has been tried before and always fails. Those who want to mooch off the system gravitate to such places and others don't feel the need to really work when they are given tons of freebies. This is an experiment doomed to failure. Stockton seems very generous with other people's money. Given, it's only 100 people. But even with such a small sampling, the results are very predictable. Stockton has a population of 300,000. With liberals firmly in control there, crime is now rampant in a city that was once a nice place to live. Illegal immigrants are everywhere and the place looks like a third world country these days. No thank you. The recipients of the cash will be able to spend the money on anything they want without any strings attached. Hello drug addicts, alcoholics and anyone else that has a habit that they can't control. The program will launch by 2019 and the 100 fortunate residents will receive the cash for a full 18 months as part of its testing phase before deciding whether to roll it out across Stockton. This is the very same kind of program that was tried in Europe and then failed miserably. It's socialism and makes those who participate entirely dependent on the state. In Finland, 2,000 unemployed working-age people were given 560 euros per month. The program, however, came to an abrupt end in April after the Finnish government decided not to extend the funding to the program. Why? Because it just plain doesn't work. Stockton was once known as America's foreclosure capital. Now it will be known as the free ride capital. This doesn't make sense for the city as they have fallen on hard times and don't have the money to be doing something like this. 1 inch minus 4 residents are living below the poverty line and the median household income is nearly $8,000 lower than the national median. It doesn't take a mathematical genius to see the insanity of all this. Stockton has racked up millions in debt from expensive development projects that led to the city's bankruptcy in 2012. That's right. They went bankrupt and doing things like this is an excellent way to do it again. We've overspent on things like arenas and marinas and things of that sort to try to learn tourism and dollars that way, said Stockton Mayor Michael Tubbs. Here's a thought. Why don't you make the place business friendly? Give incentives for being an entrepreneur and clean up the place. Let the police and ICE do their jobs for a change. Oh, and learn how to balance a freaking checkbook. It's simple. You don't spend more than you bring in. Red is a very bad color in accounting. They think the saving grace here is that the program is being funded by wealthy Silicon Valley moguls. It doesn't matter. This program will attract the dregs of society to a place that was already scraping bottom. One of those backers is Facebook co-founder Chris Hughes, whose economic security project contributed $1 million to the project. Some people have too much money and no economic sense. This is what happens to capitalists who turn uber wealthy and then turn socialist. They want to fix society and wind up destroying it instead. It is such a fundamental idea behind America that if you work hard, you can get ahead, and you certainly don't live in poverty. But that isn't true today, and it hasn't been true in the country for decades, Hughes told CNN. That is a lie and is at the heart of why people don't succeed. I believe that unless we make significant changes today, the income inequality in our country will continue to grow and call into question the very nature of our social contract and what he is doing will obliterate America as we know it. We are based on being independent, innovative and capitalistic. What he's proposing is socialist, self-defeating and economically non-vile. This guy is not the only Silicon Valley leftist elitist pushing this idea either. Universal income will be necessary over time if AI takes over most human jobs, business magnate Elon Musk wrote in a tweet last month. We should explore ideas like universal basic income to make sure that everyone has a cushion to try new ideas, 
Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg said in a May 2017 Harvard commencement speech. For such brilliant and wealthy men, that is a moronic course of action to recommend. This disastrous idea is taking hold in Hawaii and San Francisco. Both liberal strongholds. Just look what has been done to a lovely city such as San Francisco. People are defecating everywhere, it's filthy and no normal person can afford to live in the city by the bay anymore. Not that anyone would want to that a sane. In Oakland, California, Y Combinator, a startup incubator, is giving out $1,500 a month to randomly selected residents. It's expected the money will soon be distributed to 100 recipients with a prospect of expanding the program to 1,000 people who will receive $1,000 monthly. I can already tell you what will happen. Addicts will flock to Oakland for the money, so will criminals and illegal aliens. Gangs are already there. Those Americans who don't want to work will line up. Something like this is totally un-American and embeds an entitlement class of people as well as a criminal element. You can't pay people to be successful.